One, two, three, four. A limited. Beads, babes, and Bourbon Street. Mardi Gras madness, all this week on Eliminate. Today, most Southern girls are sweeter than a magnolia. Southern Belle, absolutely gorgeous. But some are spicier than Grandma's gumbo. Would you get on that pole and show me what you're working with? Yeah. I look so incredible. I almost left the date and had to go home with myself. Class versus trash, that's all I have to say. Mardi Gras week on Eliminate. Eliminate. <laughs> My name is Derek and I'm a car salesman here in New Orleans, Louisiana. During the day I'm a professional, you know, the tie's pulled up, shirt's buttoned up, nice clean shirt, but at night the shirt comes off, the tie take, gets taken off and I get buck wild. On this date, I want the girl to be aggressive but classy. I'm a car salesman and I look for people who are strong-minded and who can close the deal and I want to see which girl is going to close the deal on me. A <laughs> New Orleans is such a great place for dating because the bars stay open 24-7. No matter what place you're at, you're going to have a good time. This first round, I'm bringing the girls to the Triku house, and we're doing what we do best here in New Orleans. We're going to have a few drinks and relax, and I'm going to get to know them. My favorite flower is an orchid because they're temperamental, beautiful, hard to keep up, a little bit like myself. My name is Courtney, and I'm not going to do anything to compromise who I am as a person today. Hey, Hi. how are you? Courtney, Hi. nice to meet you. I'm Derek. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. First impression of Courtney, Southern Belle, blue eyes, blonde hair, absolutely gorgeous. I'm the girl who slows down for nothing. I eat fast, drive fast, and I think sleep is a big waste of time. My name's Michelle, and I work two hours a day on this body, and it shows. Hello. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see How are you? you? What's your name? Michelle. Michelle, I'm Derek. Hey, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. When I first saw Michelle, I was like, wow. Excellent body, works out, takes care of herself. People always call me a bitch. And you know what? I just say thank you because I really take that as a compliment. I'm Felicia. I could be your best friend one minute, and the next I'm your worst nightmare. Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you? What's your name? Felicia, nice to meet you. Hi, Felicia, I'm Derek. When Felicia walked up, I was thinking, oh my God. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous body. Got it going on. Derek was hot. The first thing I noticed was his eyes. They're beautiful. So many guys have asked me to marry them that I have a drawer full of engagement rings. My name is Veronica, and I'm not going to be talking trash because that's the job of the ugly girls. And that's not me. <laughs> is that a man? Hello. Hello. Hi, how are, how are you? you? I'm Veronica. Hi, Veronica. I'm Derek. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. You want to sit? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's cold. Nike. Hey, nice how's it going? You. Name? Felicia. Hi. Veronica walks up. I'm like, oh my God, wild girl. She's got, it's going to be off the chain. When Veronica first walked up, I was thinking, oh my God, am I on a bisexual eliminate? Veronica went a little overboard with the makeup and the muscle. She needs to tone it down just a little bit and get a little more feminine. Y'all ready to have some fun or what? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. After I met all the girls, we took a walk down the street to the Tree Cue house just to see what they were all about. Y'all ready to throw down? I'm ready to throw down. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's already thrown down, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, got, yeah, we got started early. We got started a little early. It is New Orleans, y'all know. Girls so, better I mean, be careful. They might get thrown down themselves. Oh, man. <laughs> Whatever. So, <laughs> so I'm going to be like a referee or what? <laughs> you never can tell. I'm like WWF. Hey, I like oh, WWF. Like, I'm auditioning for WWF. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm all sure about it. WWE now. I guess so. Get my SmackDown. Yeah, you're ready. I think yeah. he's looking for a woman, not a man. Uh, <laughs> sweetie, stop while you're ahead. Hi, I'm Veronica, and I'm going to throw down on these girls. Oh, my God. Are you a man or a woman? So, uh, what do you do? Uh, car salesman. Really? Yeah. Your look works for you. Automotive sales consultant. I'm in sales too. Oh, are you? I sell advertising. <laughs> so are we all in sales? Do we all Is sales? everybody in sales? I'm in sales? Actually, I'm the model. Oh, are you? Oh, oh Candace, cool. aren't That's they all? I do. I, I'm a model. Please. I'm going to have to try to keep up. <laughs> no, I'm a bartender and a personal trainer. Oh, OK. Yeah, you look like you work at. Yeah. You probably work in the street. I try. OK. Oh, Here we go. This is ladies. I started to feel a little bit bad about picking on Veronica, but oh my god, I just couldn't control myself. She was just so not it. Shut the hell up and quit annoying me. At the Triku house, you know, I sat down there, talked to the girls, you know, just to get to know them. What are you drinking? I drink Red Bull and vodka, you know. Yeah. Red Bull. I had one before I came here. 
drink after her. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so jealous? Why are you so afraid? I'm drinking after someone you don't know. Why are you so afraid? Um. Honey, I bet you've done a lot of things with people you don't know. Sweetheart, so you don't, don't, don't snort. You, like, you look like a sweat off Okay. So okay. Jealousy's not flattering. Relax yourself. Honey, believe. Why? Look at me. Oh, my God. Why would I be jealous of you? You know what? You're a breeder. you got those childbearing hips. Yeah, a breeder. I'm beautiful. I should have brought some boxing gloves. I mean, you know, we, we could have went right out in the street, you know? I mean, not, we would have settled it real quick, you know? When Veronica told me that I have childbearing hips, um, did she realize that men like that? Men like a woman with curves. They like a woman to look like a woman, not a man. That's a compliment. Let's oh see. I think we should relocate the somewhere. Yeah. Let's see what's out back there. It was a nice day, so we decided to take the party outside in the courtyard. You know, we have a fountain and everything, so it kind of like set the mood a little bit. So let me ask y'all something. You know, where do you guys, I mean, what do you guys do for a living as far as like, where do you work and everything? I work um, at Coyote Ugly. Coyote Ugly? Yes, I'm a coyote girl. Is that where like they made the movie? Uh, yeah, they made the movie off the bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, we do lots of stuff from body shots. Yeah, yeah. Shots, yeah, yeah but guess what? Um, over a thousand girls. Audition, they picked 15. So evidently, there's a little prestige in the job. What were the qualifications to transmit? Be oh, <laughs> yeah, you got Under it. 25. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are so scared of me. You gotta keep talking trash. Notice that I'm not really doing that because I have enough confidence. When a girl's coyote ugly, it means the guy takes her home, sleeps with her, and when he wakes up in the morning, he realizes he has to gnaw his arm off to get away from her. Perfect job for her. I was gonna show you something we do in Coyote Ugly to the men. What is that? Now I'm not gonna beat you, I promise. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you a little bit of your drink. Alright, well that that'd be tough. Okay, alright. Okay. Be scared, be real scared. Yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> alright, if you could have a seat right here. Okay. Lap dance, here we go. Am I getting a lap dance? No, actually. That's interesting. It's a lot more interesting than a straw. <laughs> when Veronica did the shot and spit it in Derek's mouth, that was absolutely disgusting. I've never had a girl spit in my mouth before, so when she did that, I was kind of like shocked. But at the same time, I was like, man, this girl is like really, really wild. Coming up next, who will Derek cut first? Veronica should get cut because she's way too forward on the first date. Felicia, you may play off your confidence, but uh, we can tell you're really insecure. Actually, I kind of want to keep Veronica around because I'm having fun kind of making fun of her. So, Courtney, bye-bye. You know what? Let's get this party started. I'm putting an X in all their boxes because they're worthless. And they're boring me. Go away. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Derek will eliminate first? Courtney, Felicia, Michelle, or Veronica? Okay, ladies, it's time for me to make my first cut. Uh, fortunately for three out of the four of you, uh, you guys put forth effort and uh, pursued me very, very strenuously. And I appreciate it. And uh, unfortunately for one of you, uh, you actually didn't really pursue me as hard as I thought you should have. And it was the one with the, probably the hardest body. And unfortunately, um, Michelle, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. Sorry. Later. Sorry. <laughs> I heard him say the person that didn't fight for him right off the bat, I knew it was me because I don't fight for guys. If they don't like me for who I am, then it's tough. Michelle, I think you're really awesome. I just don't think that, you know, you pursue the competition as hard as you should have. Michelle, get off the steroids and get your mustache waxed. Derek, enjoy the rest of your day with two skanks and a man. I'm out of here. For the next round, we're going on a horse and buggy ride through the historical French Quarter, and we're gonna end up at Astro Mardi Gras. For the next round, I'm looking to see who could take it up a notch, step it up another level, uh, and pursue me hard. I gotta ask you, I mean, let me ask y'all a question. What's the most wildest sexual experience you've had? I've had? Yes. Hmm, well, I'm probably the, um, in the forest with my, X. X. 
in the forest? Yeah. Did you have sex in the tree? Out in the woods? No. Oh, fine. That would be exciting. Yeah. How about you, Veronica? <laughs> Wait, where shall I start? Um, <laughs> no, I would I would just say I like sex in public places. Okay. And um, I actually enjoy um, people watching. You enjoy if, people if, watching? If my partner's up for it, yeah. If I ever saw Veronica out in public having sex, I'd probably throw up. All right, then. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to do here. Hell yeah! It's Hell Mardi Gras! Yeah. Sitting over here. All right, well, go ahead. Do something. Entertain me. Entertain us. I know you don't, but do something. Do something for him, then. It's a challenge. I'm giving you a challenge. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do something. You want me to dare you to do something, and you'll reciprocate? Go ahead. Okay. Will you hold this, please? Sure. You're going to do whatever I do? I'm not going to do whatever you do. Not a gap. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. How's that? Will you quit hogging, please? Oh my Will you stop now? When Veronica showed us her fake boobs, I think she's giving out the wrong impression to Derek. I mean, that was just totally gross. Veronica's breast augmentation was extremely nice. Let me ask you this. All three of y'all. What do you think you need to do to get to the next round, in your own mm -hmm. opinion? I think I need to be myself. Yeah, that's what I feel that's what like. I'm talking yeah. about. That would be the best thing. Be what you say is what you get. I know, if you're so looking cool. for somebody who's real. I know, we, like, we, we get along with it. I don't hey. think you're real. Hey! I don't Honey. think you're real. Money girl! You look like crackhead Barbie. <laughs> hey, excuse me. <laughs> look, now. You look like Afro Sheen Barbie. <laughs> yeah, oh what nationality God. are you? Oh my God. Are you like Chinese, black, white? Whatever you have. Mexican? You got no, I'm serious. I'm just curious. It doesn't matter, but you shouldn't oh, have grease. It's not I have grease in my hair, honey. It looks like you do. Maybe you no, need to wash it. No, it's relaxer. You know what? When Courtney called me after Barbie, that really pissed me off. And if Derek wasn't there, I probably would have knocked her ass out the carriage, and I would have made sure that the horse trampled over her ass. Felicia, if you can't take it, don't fish it out. After the horse and buggy ride, I took the girls to Starship Mardi Gras uh, above the Tree Coo House. It's a uh, Mardi Gras theme club. The cool thing about Starship Mardi Gras is that they have a balcony, you know, where we can throw beads, you know, to girls who basically take their tops off on the dance floor. It was kind of cool, you know, getting bombarded by three girls, you know, what guy could say no to that? When I went up on the balcony, I was just like totally pumped up, you know, ready to see what the girls were going to do, you know, to move on to the next round. Veronica was basically lifting up her shirt and uh, giving it all she's got. When Felicia and Courtney left, I was like, okay, what's going on? Why are you leaving? I think Derek was fascinated by my boobs and didn't even notice the other two girls were gone. And that's what I love and that's why I went. The more I thought about the comment that Courtney had made, um, I had to set the record straight. I had to put her in her place. Do you realize that the comment that you made to me in the carriage is racial? Girl. Honey, you better be glad that I didn't oh, go off on your ass in there. I just didn't want to make a fool of myself you know in front what? of him. But honey, you know you what? You better be glad because I'm about to throw your ass off the you goddamn carriage. No, you no, need to no, stop. No, don't play with me, bitch. Not, I'm not, not like that. playing. Well, you shouldn't have said you that shit. Apologize, bitch. Apologize. That's right, bitch. That's right. Bow down, bitch. Bow the down, bitch. Whatever. I've said everything I have to say to Felicia. I think she's a little trashy, and uh, personally, I'm ready to move on. I'm glad that I set the record straight with Courtney, because if I didn't say anything and I saw the show, I knew that I would regret it for the rest of my life. Who will Derek cut next? I think Felicia should get cut, because I don't find her attractive, and she's not offering anything to the group. I think Felicia should get cut. She's insecure, and she's not what he's looking for. Courtney better hope she gets cut, because if she goes in the next round with me, no telling what I'll do. I love my day. Who will Derek cut next? Courtney, Felicia, or Veronica? Okay, ladies, it's time for me to make my uh, second cut. Uh, this is the hardest part of the show for me to do, believe me. Unfortunately, you know, one out of the three just wasn't really responding to me. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut Felicia. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. All yeah, right. I really enjoyed it. Thank you.
just waiting for the chance to just mess her up. Seriously, just mess her up really bad. Alicia wasn't very secure with herself. I'm a very secure person, and I think that's what Derek is looking for. Derek, I'm really sorry that I checked out on the date, but I really felt that it was more important to tell Courtney off than it was to win you. Next round, you know, we're getting all decked out. We're going to Hustle Club, amateur night. We're going to do a little dancing, a little pole dancing, and uh, we're going to get it on. So what do y'all think about tonight? Oh, I think awesome. It's only going to get better. It's just what's, getting started. What's up with the outfits? I mean, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think about uh, Veronica's outfit? Um, it's a little revealing. A little okay. revealing? in like a Batman Returns. She looked like the Catwoman, totally. I look so incredible in this outfit. When I walked past the mirror, I almost left the date and had to go home with myself. Thank what, about, you. what about Courtney, Veronica? Uh, yeah, about? I think she looks great. You think she looks I think, great? Yeah, I think, and I think the outfit fits her personality, I'll yeah. say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. well, the same. I think it looks good. I thought Courtney's outfit was hot, yet classy, and, you know, it left a lot to the imagination. I mean, I got to tell you, I mean, I'm just totally intrigued by both of y'all yeah. as far as everything goes. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm just ready to watch y'all just, you know, work for it, you know what I'm saying? Would you get on that pole right now? And dance yeah. and show me what you're working with. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, well, let's do it. Excuse me. I was so excited to get up on that stage and dance because I do that so well. And I knew that she would not challenge me. not scared of anything. She's totally buck wild. She isn't scared of a damn thing. Would you get up here? We're at a strip club, girl. I really got baby. I mean, what do you think about that? I think it's hot. Yeah? I like the band, but personally, I wouldn't show them. Class versus trash. That's all I have to say. Will it be Courtney or Veronica? Derek's final cut is next. A limited. <laughs> okay, ladies, this is the final round. I have to make a cut. I was really feeling it from both y'all, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut Veronica. Uh, I, I just, I think, you know, I mean, you're a really wild girl, you're really cool, but I mean, I'm just, I, I don't hey. think I can handle it. I, Seriously. That's cool. <laughs> you're really cool. Make right this girl open up a little yes, bit now, damn. she's going to open up right now. Woo. I told you her leg would spread. Get her a couple shots. Work Woo. hard, man. Bye-bye. I think, honestly, his decision was right on because I could kind of get that I was scaring him a little bit. She was very frightened. <laughs> so why'd you pick me? Uh, I just, I mean, you're absolutely beautiful, classy, and it was like all a test that, you know, you didn't get up there, and uh, you did a really good job. Thank so. you. You know what? I'm in New Orleans. I'm in a strip club. I love to watch strippers. I love to be a stripper. So I'm going to get back in there now, see if I can get some drinks. <laughs>